So welcome to this 105 part. 102, 103, 104. They are in the members area. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, you can click that. Become a Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja member. Gain access to those. So the paid content also has important questions. Free content plus paid content will help you clear. Now you will get majority of questions from this playlist. The questions will be exactly same or similar. So you can trust this playlist. Ample of questions are there for practice, and do not think some some videos are old. No, they are still valid. So don't don't ignore them. I hope you have subscribed. If not, do so. Now let's look at this question. Which pillar of AWS Well Architected Framework includes shared responsibility? Now see, AWS Well Architected Framework means uh, AWS says, hey guys, you know these are some of the best practices. Please follow. It is just like your religious book. They are best practices, uh, which is which was applicable for that those times thousands years back. It was applicable for those times. Some may be still relevant, but uh, a lot of them will may not be relevant also in today's time. But it's like so. This also well architected framework. They keep revising this well architected framework. No, so they say okay. These are the six pillars. You should follow this best practice. And those things. Now, under that, they are saying shared responsibility model. Where will it fall? Where will it fall? Will it fall under operational excellence pillar, performance pillar? Where it it will fall? Shared responsibility. See, security is very important. Both you as a customer and AWS both will be responsible for it. So this is one of the the most important thing. So AWS themselves do penetration testing of their environments and so on. Now, what you have to do as a customer, what you have to do is you should implement policies like minimum privilege. Give people like God. What God does, they will give you only that is normally just sufficient. Majority of the population will not get in excess. Only rich people get certain things in excess. Otherwise, just how much you can survive, you will get that. Okay. So, operational excellence is like uh, you know to operate the resources, application EC2 and etc. Performance efficiency is like are you getting a good uh, query response time from your databases? Reliability is like suppose. You hosted your application in one region. That region goes down. Do you have another region to support those kind of stuff? See, a company. This is the next one we are looking. A company wants to minimize uh, network latency between its EC2. So it has like this one EC2, other EC2, like this. Between the EC2, you know, when they are talking to each other, they are saying, "Boss, yeah, let us have good speed, man." When we talk to each other, how you can do that? If you want to do that, no. Uh, if you keep them in different regions, one in India, one in Singapore, that will be bad because there is so much of distance to travel between. So this will not work. And then uh, C says you put them in multiple edge locations. See, one edge location can be in Hyderabad, the other can be in Bangalore. That is still far, no. That is still far. Uh, A says put EC2 in a single level. Single it be easy. Single it may be same data center. See single EC, single data center, same hardware the best. Same hardware if you have multiple EC2 instances, no network to travel, that will be the fastest. Okay. And D says EC2 instance in same EC but different regions. See what's the use? It is as good as you are having in two regions. They are saying in India I have one AZ, and in Singapore I have one AZ. Let's put so it is still they still have to travel that network that is so long. So this is the best. Okay. Now, concierge support. The next question we are talking about concierge support. Which plan has it? See, concierge support means one dedicated team for you. Okay, that means common sense. 
that has to be expensive you have they will i mean ask for a lot more money because so many people are dedicated to you no they are waiting for you to assist so it has to be in enterprise support the most expensive plan it has to be there okay you will get this is the vip plan you will get this all kind of support people will be there for you and those kind of stuff it's like a business class in in the flight the business in not even business ultra business class where you can lie down and go you have a small room like in some modern planes they have consider that okay so there what happens you have a separate team of air hostess for that section okay you now someone from economy tries to peep there they will be kicked out kicked out okay and then the air hostess in that area will not even give a smile for two people in uh, economy class so you can understand right if you are traveling economy class where you are you can understand your level in this world right so this would be our answer so i travel economy class because i cannot afford business class on international flights or anything uh and neither my company can afford it for me so that's life man but i wish before i get too old i i get an opportunity to travel by business class okay so this brings us to the end of this part if you are not yet subscribed do so and uh, you will get same or similar questions in the exam if you focus on the concepts now you can easily pass this certification and this playlist has ample of questions to help you clear the certification so this brings us to the end of 105c part 102 hear me out please hear me out 102 103 104 these are in the members area take the click the link in the description become a cloud kernel cloud ninja member and gain those access more questions are always better okay and these are believe me these are very much uh questions which are linked to the exam so uh, if you practice these uh, i don't think anybody can stop you from clearing the certification